When you hear someone use the term, the world is changing, they're not kidding, and it's becoming more and more apparent practically every day in every aspect of our lives. In the corporate world, for example, telecommunications is one of the most critical segments of any company's operations. And in that area, there are some huge changes coming. For example, there is now a term being used called convergence. It is definitely the wave of the future that is here today. And what it involves is merging both voice and data communications into one single system. And while switching over to it could potentially cause a company vast amounts of money having to replace their existing telecommunications equipment, it really doesn't have to. Thanks to the efforts of a unique telecommunications company based here in Dallas called Source. To learn more, we visited Source and spoke with many of their key executives, including the company's president, Randy Trice. Source is in the telecommunications business and data business, and, and really what Source is doing is, is taking and migrating old systems of telecommunications to the newer applications of today, and that is called convergence. Randy, what are the top two or three attributes of Source that enable it to be productive in the marketplace? Talented people, number one, and the vein of source management really does understand that it's true assets walk in and out of the door each night. Second would be commitment, the commitment to the customer after the implementation is done. A lot of vendors will say they can do multi-vendor implementations. Really the service offerings, once the job is done, is really a, a very big attribute of source that very few have. And then finally, I would say innovation. Source has always stayed at the forefront of this rapidly changing telecommunications space. We've invested time, we've invested money, and that allows us to be successful. So when you look at it, it really is talented people, commitment, and innovation are the driving force of Source. When you think about Source, we want customers to think of Source first in customer service, but also as a strategic partner to them that listens well, solves problems, and educates. In a sense, we want to be the voice of convergence to our customers. Nothing else matters without great customer service. Going to the nth degree, adding that little bit of extra value to the customer. That's what keeps them coming back. That's really why Source has been in business for 38 years. On this floor, we take calls from customers, whether they be a sales-related call, a service-related call, and we support them. We help them solve their problems and go on with their, with their jobs on a day-to-day -day basis. So we, we take the load off of their hands and help them run their businesses. Everyone that we're talking to today, all of our customers, are talking about convergence. You know, this whole concept of moving to IP moving off of legacy systems to a data-centric voice system. Uh, very complex systems. For many companies, it's a leap into technologies that they're not comfortable with. And in many cases, they rely on us at Source to come in and help them navigate this transition into IP. My role with the Kentucky Army National Guard is the state telecom manager. And doing that, I manage all the voice and data lines and the infrastructure to all the armories in the state of Kentucky. My primary mission is to not only keep the day-to-day -day operations going, but also prepare for disasters and be able to support the citizens of Kentucky with communications in their time of need. And with bringing Source on board, I'm allowed, it allows me to be able to do that because I don't have to manage my system 24-7. They manage it a little bit for me. They allow me to see things as they're coming up, trouble situations, that I don't have to focus on that. I can focus on implementations. Now we have VoIP, voice over internet protocol, or basically using internet protocol, and we have cell phones. Over the years, we've built up on learning the industry. We're experts in the value of equipment. We're a company which has a lot of history and knowledge because we've been through all the transitions. And in doing so, we did several major contracts with like MCI and others, where we managed their equipment. 
because we developed a serialization system we call closed loop. Source is a central point where we use information systems to manage all our activity and we have a lot of information systems now that can take care and remotely support anybody in the country. We've set up a network of guys that we can do on-site with without having trucks and things. We can monitor. We have monitoring stations in London and Florida 24 hours a day. We have a central pool of very professional people. We have experience in broad form about every kind of product, and we can support virtually every uh, major manufacturer in the United States. We improve the products that we manage for other clients on the parts repair and support. We can repair almost any kind of phone system out there. And as they change, we can also take that equipment back and resell it if it has value. One of the things that Source is very well known for is we try to utilize what the customer has in place now. And we, we don't advocate forklift upgrades like a lot of manufacturers do because they want to sell you equipment. What we try to advocate is a much more green approach where we try to utilize what you have now, but you know, add some other applications to it so you get a more robust product in the end. Services really starts after a customer is installed and the, and the product has been sold. A lot of people think, well, okay, we're finished. No, that's really when services just get started. With Source, we offer a manufacturer's maintenance program as well as our own branded program. We have three flagship products. It's called Maintenance, Managed Services, and also we offer time and material support. The Source Maintenance Program is really for the customers a fantastic benefit. Any customer that would buy a new system, whether it's from Source or some other business partner, can always put that product under maintenance with Source. The maintenance program is a 7 by 24 hour operation. You can select 7 by 24, you can offer 8 to 5, or it can be customized to exactly what you need. A maintenance program is really for break fix activities so that if your system went down, you know you're calling the experts like these individuals behind me uh, that are going to get you back up and operational within moments. Source has the unique ability to leverage existing assets and technology tools to balance inventory assortments manage ordering, track pricing, and measure customer activities. We also can provide the retailer data so that they can take a scientific approach to promotions and pricing. Jill explained to me how Source is adding value to the retail sector. We have several retailers that are our customers, but for instance, one premier retailer, we support over 60 locations, but we can handle many, many more. In our state-of-the-art distribution center, we can pre-stage, pre-configure, and pre-program all of the systems so we can ensure consistent and quick delivery for the retailer. Here at Source, I'm a business process specialist. What I do is I work with the several different departments and our, our cross-departmental processes to figure out how we can streamline our activities to get the best possible pricing and best possible service to our customers. Specifically, I spend an awful lot of time in meetings. I actually meet with customers and with our, with our sales force and then all of our behind the scenes back office operational people to determine where we can improve, how we can get something quicker, how we can involve less people and give, get an accurate picture of what our customer wants and then to be able to translate that in something that we can deliver to them that fulfills all of their needs, wants, and, and, and obligations. We had that little hurricane down there called Katrina. He was with Unisys and been hired to bring back the emergency network for the city of New Orleans. And he needed about three parts from this manufacturer, which were normally sold in bundles. Okay, so this company, oh, we're not shifting, we have a problem with this part right now. So we went to Pittsburgh and picked up a part. We went over to Memphis and picked up a part. And another place, there were three flew them into New Orleans at the airport, but nobody was flying there, not even FedEx. And my pilots called me and they said, well, where is he? I said, well, he's coming in a Hummer with several other armed guards around him to pick up those parts. Trust me, he will be there, because they, the, they had the lockdown. And we keep, with these hurricanes we've been having, we have to go in, a lot of these systems are our service, so we have to back up that database. Just in case it kind of get blown away, it's a lot easier to put it back if you have the initial database. So we were busy doing that, and we were also monitoring, because we have these monitoring centers that will tell us, well, if we don't lose the network, uh, what's going on. And that way, if they need a recovery and they need it fast, that, that's a good way to do it, because we know what's going on. We know where it is, we have all this database, and when you've got about 100 locations, it's good to have that in one place. 
Secondly, that is that we can go in and we know usually what the systems are, especially if we had them serialized. So we can replicate them. We've had to take systems into a major retailer who's, for some reason, somebody bumped into it and it kind of blew up. And so we have to build, build, rebuild the cabinetry there, put it all back together the way it is, replicate it, send it down there, and do it fast. And there's not many people who can do that. Originally, when customers started talking about convergence, they thought the benefits would be reduced long distance and reduced wiring costs. Turns out, that's not so much. Long distance rates have dropped, so with or without convergence, most major companies are paying less than one cent a minute for long distance or getting it free. Wiring costs haven't really changed. All the new wiring is data compliant anyway. What convergence does is it allows you to redeploy assets as the business needs change without the expense of bringing in telephone technicians. People can literally pick up a telephone and move it. This includes having a major outage or failure in a building or perhaps trying to relocate a whole department. People literally pick up their phones and move to another location, plug them in and they're online. That new location could be another company facility or it could be a hotel down the street. If you had a, a, an incident that made your building uninhabitable. For example, they suddenly discovered asbestos or back when we were having the anthrax scares or whatever. You can actually move people down the street to a hotel ballroom, have them plug in their phones in the hotel internet and still have communications. So the business continuity aspects of convergence are huge. In addition to that, we've reduced the amount of energy consumed. By converging voice and data, we need less electrical equipment Many companies are looking at their operational cost and also looking to be good green citizens. So convergence helps them do that as well. It re can reduce the amount of administrative complexity because you have fewer things that have to be administered, few different systems that have to be known about, less engineers, less training, which also re results in huge cost. Those are a lot of the benefits that people are seeing from convergence today. I think the longevity of source, I think the creativity of source, I think the ability to understand a changing market add value to helping propel the company into the next 10 years. David Potter has done a wonderful job of staying at the forefront of technology and adding great people along the way to help him continue the business. Source is constantly working on upgrading its business processes to offer a better service to its clients but also to operate more efficiently. We do that by adding intellectual capital. And as you look down the road, you know, five, ten years from now, what are your goals for this company? Where do you see it going? Stay at the forefront of technology as voice and data merge together and be really that strategic partner to those companies that is the voice of convergence, that they don't make a move without first consulting with source. Or if they are making a move, consulting source. And there you are, an inside look into one of the most unique telecommunications companies on the scene today, Source. I'm Doug Llewellyn, reporting from Dallas. That concludes this edition of Close Up on America's Business. If you'd like more information about any of the companies featured on today's show, please visit our website at closeuptvnews.com. I'm Jim Masters. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.